Good morning, no, good afternoon, and welcome back to the channel. It's quarter past one, and of course it's the first of May. Uh, and it's not a very nice day, in fact it's horrible, it's been raining, it's quite nippy, I don't know what's happened to the sun, but still, we're hoping it's going to get back. Anyway, I hope you're all okay and enjoying your day off, I'm sure, because it's a bank holiday. It's a bank holiday here, I'm sure it's a bank holiday where you are. Right, so, just a little thing, because if you remember, if you watched the video, which I hope you did, I balanced the front wheel for the trans out because it, th there was a right wobble on it. Uh, and it's been there, like I said, it, it, it's been there for years now. Anyway, so checked everything else. I mean, the wheel's fine, the bearings are fine, everything's fine. When I balanced it, uh, it took a lot of weights, as it did the first time when the guy fitted it on and it took an awful lot of weights this time. So it looks horrible, it looks ugly because, you know, uh, because they're only thin, you have to each side and, and you have to get them on, oh, it's just, well, anyway. And it did help, but there was still that slight wobble there. So, it, so it's proof, really, that, that I think, for some unknown reason, this tyre, although it be a Michelin, I think this tyre is well out of balance. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to take the wheel back off. I'm going to remove the weights that's on it, and I'm going to I'm going to break the bead to the tire and move the tire round. Yeah. So because what I think's happened for somehow that it's the heavy part of the tire, it must be on the heavy part of the wheel. Thus, it's making it a real heavy spot. So by turning the tire round, so I'm bringing the top to the bottom. Hopefully that will counterbalance a lot of the bad weight and then we should be able to balance it up with a lot less weight. That's the theory. That's what I'm looking at anyway. So I've got all the equipment ready, sort of. There's the, uh, there's the balancer across there, yeah? I'll just drop you down a minute. So the balancer is across there, ready to go. We've got, oops, sorry. Here, um, oops. <laughs> oh, it's a good good day. Right, here we have the bead breaker, which is there. And there, obviously, we have the Transalp with its wheel still on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the jack under it and I'm going to take the front wheel off. Um, when I've got the wheel off, then I'll get back and we'll see about breaking the bead. Right, okay, so we have the wheel off, yeah? So what I'm going to do is, first of all, is I am going to let the air out for a start off by taking the valve core out so we can actually work with it. So we'll just put that across there. Yeah. Now this this should break pretty easy and I'm hoping that I haven't got to take the the bead off to turn it round. Now now this the valve is held in place uh, with a nut so we should be okay. But what I'm gonna do look, I'm gonna mark the tire. Yeah. This side because this this is where all our weight's got. So I'm gonna mark the tire there like that and we're going to put that down to the valve side yeah is what we're going to do so we're going to turn this round and just see hopefully it might make some some difference i mean it might not we will have to see right okay so the next step now is let's get this on the breaker and we'll break the bead down. Hang on a sec. I don't know whether you can see that bit. Can you? Uh, let's have a look. There we go. Okay, you should be able to now. Right. So, let's break the bead, which should break pretty easy, hopefully, all the way around. Okay, that's that one gone. And do this side. Just be careful. 
for the disc. Okay. Right. So that's both the beads broke. Now, this is the fun bit. Because like I said, I'd like to try to not take the one off. But you know what? I don't think that's going to happen. I think I'm going to have to take off the tyre. The one side to turn this round. Which is going to be a little bit of a pain, but still. Okay, right. Hang on a sec. I'm going to put that there. I'm just going to switch this off while I get this done and then we'll put it back on. Now, luckily for me, I managed to turn the the tyre all the way around uh, without, without taking it off. So I've pumped it back up. So now we've got this now more or less in line with the valve. Okay, now as you can see, there's a lot of weight on here so we're going to strip we're going to strip the weights off this like so which is a shame because you know oops took a <laughs> there was a lot of weights on here and it's i hate wasting stuff but likewise if i can get this balanced up better then so be it now Get this off here. <sighs> right. Like that. And then... Get the knife. And take them off. Hopefully without... It shouldn't mark this, but... We'll just get the... See, they pry off quite easily without marking anything. Hence the fact I always use tape to put mine on as well because you just, they're not the, I mean they do, they hold on reasonably well but when you think about it, when you're hurtling along, well, hurtling might be a, a bit of an overstatement, but you know what I mean. Right, that's got that done. Now we need to get this all cleaned off, and the best thing to clean this off with is a bit of terps. So let me just get a let me just get a terpsy rag, and with a bit of luck. We should be able to get this. I did have a, I did have a terpsy rag here. I have indeed. And then we can get this cleaned off. And then we'll get it on the balancer. And then we can see, hopefully, now, it's not going to need anywhere near as much weight. Yeah? Right. I'll tell you what. I want to get this all nice and clean. So... Bear with me while I get this off, right? Because there's no point you sat there while I'm doing this. Okay, so cleaned it all off. I'll tell you something, it was a bit awkward to get off. It was stuck better than you think. So let's see where this rests to now, right? Okay. I would imagine it's still going to drop down to where the valve is. And that's going to be our heavy spot. Still, I would think. But hopefully, turning the tyre round should have changed things we'd like to think you never know because something was well out of balance on this wheel there was no two ways about it but like i said doing what i did made a big difference but there was a lot of weight and i you know when you've got that much weight on it doesn't it doesn't look nice okay so look there we go so so this is still the heaviest spot. I mean, it, to be fair, it could just be that this wheel is well out of balance. You know, the actual wheel itself. 
when it came out the factory, which is unusual. Okay, so let's just put that there so we know that's where we're going to want our weights. Now, hopefully, hopefully, we we should be able to get away with with a lot less weight on hoping than we did before. So uh, let's have a look here. Okay. Now what I'm going to try and do is just just put a bit on. Just hold hold it on with this for now until we sort of get an idea and then we can stick it on properly but uh, if we can get some some sort of idea okay so let's see where we go to now shall we well that's made a difference straight away look huh that's virtually stayed where I put it just let it go there well I'll tell you what <laughs> you're not gonna go hey oh my god am I good yeah I know and I'm also a big edit you're not going to get much better than that are you let's face it you know i mean that is just about considering that 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 this is like a semi knobbly tire you know that's not too bad at all mind you the weights are sort of they're not actually stuck on right at, at the moment but okay right but that that is pretty good okay so even if i say so myself so what we're going to do is now this is the tr oh yeah this is what i had here wasn't it these don't fit on oh, because of the width of this oh it's a bit of a pain that is isn't it it really is see you can't <laughs> oh dear. almost want to just bend them but they're not going to bend obviously okay uh that's now that's a shame that is um because this is where we could have got away with just these but of course we're back to this again all right well i've got no choice but to um i am actually running out the small <laughs> small weights because i keep I keep having to use the small ones all the time. These seem just impossible to cut. It's a shame I can't cut them with this, to be honest with you. I wonder if I can. <laughs> oh dear, I don't know. Huh? Oh, I don't think these will even cut with this. <coughs> no, God, dearie me. Hey? Okay, right. Well, I have no choice but to uh, but to use the small weights again, which is a real pain in the bum because I used so many of them before, and like I said, sooner or later you do run out. But hey ho, and you know it means that you've got you're putting more on again, which is a bit of a bit of a pain, but still. Okay, we'll start to stick them on and then we'll just have to see. As we go along, I'd like to keep them, if I can, just to the, the one side or, but, but we'll see how many it takes to actually start having an effect on it. As you can see, it's still at the moment. I'll have to see if I can just buy the smaller weights. <laughs> Where are 
are we? There we go. Okay, put one in there like that. Like I said, hopefully it it's going to be a lot less. Now she still needs some uh, still need some weight on that. small pieces <laughs> literally running out of small pieces well not running out but getting less and less okay let's Okay, we're getting a little bit more pull down there. Okay, that's looking a lot better look yeah. A lot better with just weights on the one side. And basically where I let it go. It's staying. So that now is counterband. So that's it. That's it. So we've got one, two, three, four, five weights before we had something like five or six each side. So yeah, it has made a difference. And hopefully, hopefully, this now will be balanced up nicely. Okay, let me just put all this away. Well, like I said, <laughs> I am, oops. I am, let's hope that the next one I balance doesn't need many small weights because <laughs> I will have to try and order, I think, some of the smaller weights, some of the fives instead of the 10. But yeah, oops, left some behind. Or find a way to cut the tens. Uh, maybe with a, with a, with a, with a blade uh, on the, on the Dremel, I, I, I could cut them, but yeah. I mean that's that's not too bad at all there. I mean to be fair, you know, any I mean this this is still a more off-road than on-road tire and you know you're never going to balance them up absolutely as good and perfect as you would, you know, a road tire but but that that's that is pretty, oh, missed a whole strip there. That is, that is pretty good. So, you know, I'm not gonna moan at that. And hopefully it, it will have made a big difference this time. It made a difference before, you know? I mean, it, it, it did stop a lot of the vibrating. That's, that's pretty good, you know? That's, that will do for me. Right, okay, so swing around here in a minute and uh yeah that's it really i mean that's all that i wanted to do was just that killing time again i'm going to put some tape on because um although the others were stuck they, it took a bit to get that 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 adhesive off the back to be fair they probably wouldn't have come off but but i always feel it you know a little bit happier when i can get get that on but yeah so that's done so obviously um like i said this is going for its ct on friday should be interesting to say the least and uh 
that's it really just a little video um i wish i'd have done this stuff it has made it's reduced the weights by loads so in theory um you know now i'm hoping that that wobble it had virtually gone before i'm hoping now it's all gone right okay that's it that's all it is for today i hope you're all well i hope you enjoyed that a little lesson for us all including me you know if you if if you've got something if you've got a wobble that bad sometimes just by putting loads of weights on yes it does it does solve the problem uh, to a certain extent but it's not nice having loads of weights on is it? It, it, it it's it's ugly and it just doesn't look good and like before they fling off a single layer of weight is a lot better okay that's it right i hope you enjoyed this if you did give me a thumbs up if any comments please feel free leave them below have a chat um i'll see you in the next video take care thanks for watching i really do appreciate it bye for now